That's a big dog. That is a monster. He identifies as a little dog. Well, when he shits on aisle five and bites a little girl on aisle six, you call me and we'll, we'll talk about which one's the problem. Leave my restaurant or I'm calling the cops now. We'll talk about which one's the problem when that happens, sir. Call the cops and tell them that that dog took a shit in that bag. <laughs> Come on, Hop. That's okay. I think that this Sprite should, should sashay on out with me. Out, no, no, out. With a complete unfettered tolerance for any forms of self-identification nowadays, it seems like anybody, regardless of race, color, size, sex, or gender, because those are different now, are free to come and go as they please. When they please, wherever they please, however, whoever, whomever, whatever they are. But are some still getting the short end of the tolerance stick? Like my dog. You've no doubt seen them in your grocery stores, malls, and restaurants. Little rat dogs, once shunned by civilized society, now allowed to roam our human establishments at will. That's not Gay Jared, my producer. He spent all day walking around with that dog. Not one person had a problem. Hi, uh, she. She, she is Loli. This is Miss Loli. Uh, table for two? Two? Or three? <laughs> however, however you want to count it. Hey guys, how are you? Good, how you doing? Doing well. So pretty. She's fresh. She's fresh. Oh, okay. She's our little angel. Oh, her name is Bridge. Oh, Loli. Loli. But we say fresh. Being busy, got your helper. Yes, we do. We, have, we, say, we say queen. Oh, the queen. She's the queen. Uh, two, three, really. Three for your best seat. <laughs> we say freshy poo when we're really feeling it. She's okay, right? Is she okay? Great. Success! Now contrast that with Hopper, my 90 pound doggo Argentino, who just so happens to identify as an 8 pound lap dog. He's always been this way, so who are you to judge? We wanted to see just how tolerant of a giant white monster people would be. Come on. Come on, Hop. Go. Come on, hop. Perfect. I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, do you want to sit here or do you want to sit at the booth? Is this yes. a therapy or mental health dog? Uh, does it, a let's go with yes. Does he have a vest for that? Does he have a vest? Yes. No, he doesn't. I don't believe dogs are allowed on the premises. He needs to have the vest? Yeah. I can buy him a vest. Hi, how are you? You're gonna have to leave because we cannot have a dog in the building. Okay, why is that? You got that guy's got his dog uh, there in his little in his little I'm knapsack. To you right now. He's not going. He's not bothering anybody. Excuse me. Why is he still here? Calm your horses there. Okay, sweetheart. I'm having a drink with my friend. Are you throwing shade at me? He's a dog of Argentina. Excuse me, but I'm, I'm, OMG, this is not okay. Hey, I will leave as soon as as soon as sweetheart here goes. I think I need to calm down. I think I need to calm down. I need to calm down. And we're regulars here twice a week. Pause. It takes a special kind of crazy to willingly admit that you're a twice a week regular at Macaroni Grill. Please. See, now you got the regulars upset. Part of me always had to wonder, was it the dog or was it me? Not Gay Jared speaks and acts with a certain affectation that causes people to cut him a wide swath very tolerantly. Some of us aren't shopping with monsters walking around up and down every aisle. That's your color. <laughs> That's Thank your you. color right there. You enjoy your pit bull, sir. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Time to treat yourself. Oh, these are Tupperwares. Betty Crocker makes Tupperwares? Uh-huh. Didn't know. My goodness. Those are some big cocks. I'm hanging out with Ben and Jerry later. I just, I can't even. I can't even. Lost all ability to even. So I decided to see if it would work for me. I mean us. I meant us. He identifies as like a little dog, so we take him everywhere, you know, sometimes tackle somebody, but it's, it's all in good fun. Hi. These two items? Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, it, it's, a, it's, it, it's a she. He identifies as a she. Let's go into the woman's restroom. It's, it's not for him. For me, I, 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 I'm gender fluid. I identify. Please, please, I, I identify as a woman. Excuse me, why is a man in a woman's restroom? I, I just have to use the, the potty real quick. It's not the end of the world, I'm just tinkling. Nothing, I just want to try on some clothes. Okay, can we use the meds? No. no. Why? Because I don't identify that way. I'm pansexual, I'm gender fluid, and I was just a target and they let me use the women's room. Okay. Okay, thank you, I appreciate you accommodating. So what did we learn today? Well, 
not a whole lot of value, except that people just aren't as tolerant as they think they are, especially when it comes to big dogs who identify as Bichon Frises. And uh, also that you can pretty much get away with whatever you want, with a little bit of confidence and a lisp, like going into the women's changing room with a 90-pound monster and a beard. Finally, small dogs are gay. <laughs>